Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is a um video on, you know, exposing Dr. Kabon, um, Kamal Kabon. Um, he basically doesn't believe in the Bible, and I'm basically I, I did the video last time. I'm redoing it because, you know, it was just hella dark for some reason. Like, I'm at, you know, but my camera's really not good, so I got to point at the TV, and um. And I got it up to my mouth so you can definitely hear me perfectly this time as I speak. Um, this is Deuteronomy 28. It says, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So he gave us commandments to do, you, you know. And our people up to this day is still not doing them. You know. He say verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the, of the Lord thy God. We didn't do that. So I'm going to jump to the 15th verse. Right. Because this is saying what would have happened if we um, followed his commandments up into the 15th verse. And it says, but it shall come to pass. This is what we actually did do. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the, curse shall thou be in the city. <clears throat> like I said, we live in the ghettos and the slums. Curse should thou be in the field. Curse should thou be in the basket in our store when we have our business. Look what happened to Black Wall Street. There's many other businesses that um, has faltered. You know, I, I know um, a, a guy who was doing people's insurances. He had his own business, and a white man came and shut him down <clears throat> and told him he he he's a black he's a black nigga and he ain't got no business to be doing insurances. Before he shut him down. Curse should thou be in the fruit of thy body. You go into the hospitals. That's all you see. And the fruit of thy land. The increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Now you got to be real. And I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to even Hebrew Israelites. They got to be real. People you know 2000. I, I kind of believe once a year. You know, I, I think this whole society is like under a spell of falsetism. And I'm going to call it that because people don't want to be real, man. People don't want to be real. You got to show me. You got, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go against this word when you can't show me and Kemet any writings or any literature of ancient Kemet that says, our people are going to be in this condition today or or you can't show me any writings telling me of ancient Kemet that our ancestors warned us of this white man there's no there's no warning curse shall thou be when thou comest in and curse shall thou be when thou goest out the Lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation people are vexed out here and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hand unto, for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee. Our people are, like I said, in the hospital, sick. Until he consume thee from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever. And with an inflammation and ex with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. <clears throat> so he's saying there's going to be no hope, you know, you know, even even, you know, that's basically no hope. You said. And the earth that is under thee shall be iron. We try to grow our food. It, it, everything's going to go bad. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder. 
and dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed we can't even drink the water in the air and you going to tell me to follow Kemet you know and, and I'm doing this I'm doing this because I can't spare you yeah even though I like you you know I, I, I like I like your um lectures but I can't spare you I can't spare feelings you know I'm 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 basically the, the, the bad guy in righteousness because I got to keep it real. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. Now, it could be 20 niggas on the block, right? And and, and they are niggas. I'm, I use that word. And, um... One cop roll up, they all gonna scatter like roaches if they doing something illegal. You know, I um the other day I had to use the bathroom real bad. You know, I got off the bus, I went into the alley. It's not the alley, like the trees. It's like the trees, and it's like a it's like a mini forest in the in the back of a metro system, metro station. And I went to go uh, urinate. And what I see behind there, a bunch of crackheads. So, yeah, I use that word niggas, right? You know, and, and, and when I saw them, they was all scared and shook up. Just imagine if I was a cop and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Right? I'm going to jump down. Um, okay. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. You, you got a lot of people with madness, you know, it, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the hood, right? People talking to themselves and cursing, just walking down the street. Got that, that's spirits. That's, that's, that's spiritual, right? Madness and blindness, which you have, you have blindness right here because you won't, you won't take heed to what we saying because you've been in your philosophy for so long. So you won't. It's like that the elders won't ever humble themselves to to something like they won't humble themselves, especially to a younger person. You know, the the ones the elders that I've dealt with. And astonishment of heart, they heart is, is they, it's it's over for them. Right? I'm twenty nine, and thou shalt group at noonday at the blind group of in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You know, even me in school, right? You know, it's you. You got it's. It's a lot of trickery in, in in school. You know, when you in college and the universities, and you gotta be like I'm aware. I'm I'm, but it's a lot of tricks that our people fall into, right? And thou should not, thou should be only oppressed. We oppress it. even when we go to school. We oppress. We turn on the news. You know, all they have is lies and slanders, and, and they brainwash people through their sorcery, their trickery. You know, that's what it is. And spoil evermore. We's gonna be this spoiled means they taking our goods. We are destroyed evermore, and no man shall save thee. No man shall save thee. Not no Obama. Not no Martin Luther King. Not no Dr. Umar Johnson. Not no, no um, so-called brother polite. They're not going to save us. Thou should be betrothed a wife and another man shall lie with her. This happened in slavery. This even happens now among thy brethren. Among your African people. That's what you say. Thou shalt build a house and thou shalt not dwell therein. You know, that's what happened in slavery. We, we built America. Thou shalt plant vineyards and shall not gather the grapes there because they own everything we had. A black man invents something, they going to take credit for it. So if we plant a, a vineyard, they going to eat it. Right? Thy ox shall be slain before thy eyes. We had animals. They killed it. They ain't want us to prosper at all. Oh, I hate nigger sign. And thou shalt not eat thereof. Thy ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face. We had no power. And shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thy enemies. And thou shall have none to rescue them. Right? This will happen in slavery. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. 
and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. That's what happened. Families got split up in slavery all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. We had no power to stop that. You have to show me. You have to show me. And you know, I ask any Egyptology. I've talked to many Egyptology. You know, you got some people that won't even speak to me. I, I will leave out my number for anybody. Anybody. Because that I'm confident with the word of the Lord. Whether they Egyptology, whether they Hebrew Israelites. Because a lot of these Hebrew Israelites are out of their mind. That's why, you know, I would tell anybody who believes in the Bible to read the Bible for yourself and to study. Because these a lot of these 90, 95% of these Hebrew Israelites are out of their mind. They're gone. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor show a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So we didn't know the white man. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Always. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eye which thou shalt see. We being oppressed. What you mean? Section 8. Food stamps. They cutting food stamps off. You know, I got people in my family, they get $16 a month on their food stamps. $16 a month on their food stamps. Okay? The Lord shall smite thee in the knee. And I, and I want to say something now. These Christians out here in this church, they, they're off. Okay? They don't want to accept the truth. A lot of them don't. A lot of them know in the back of their minds, but they don't want to accept the truth because... You know, the white man has brainwashed Christianity. It's not, it's not what, they, they not reading the words in the book. Uh, you know, I was talking to some Christians today, but I'm going to keep reading. I'm not going to get distracted. Because um, <clears throat> you got a saying, we are good at being distracted. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that cannot be healed. Like in my leg, I got, you know, our people got bad knees. Right? From the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Right? And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whether the Lord shall lead thee. So he's saying everywhere you black people going to be at, they're going to call you niggas. They're going to call you monkey. They're going to call you Akata. That's what your African brothers call us, Akata. These African brothers, when we get shot down in the street, where are they? They're nowhere to be found. These Nigerians are nowhere to be found. That's all I'm going to say. Yes, I'm not, I'm not denying that our people are in West Africa, but... That's another topic. I'm going to stay on topic. Right? I'm going to go down because it's, it's kind of saying. It says. I'm going to jump to 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high. And thou shalt come down very low. Now wherever black people are. Whether they in China. Whether they in um, East India. Whether they in Italy. Whether... Whether they are in America, whether they are in Germany, the stranger that is within thee, so the strange lands that we are at, these strangers shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So we going to be at the bottom. Obama did not. You say, oh, well, Obama's black. Obama did not go through the transatlantic slave trade. His forefathers did not go through that. That's the truth. He didn't, he didn't go through these curses. He's not, he's not, he didn't, he doesn't come from the lineage of Shem. We come from Ham. No, he, wow, that, he doesn't come from the lineage of Shem. Obama comes from Ham. And you should see the hate mail that I get. You know, it's, it's crazy. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. 
because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So because we still don't listen. You, you know, our people don't even listen. They don't even want to see if you, like, go over it for themselves. They're like, I got my mind made up. I don't even want to see what he's saying because I know Kemet. You know, what you were saying, a shay, something like that, a shy, a shay. Nah, it's, it's, it's thus said the Lord, man. Nah. To keep his commandments and his statute which he command thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. So these curses going to be on us until we accept the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. And he's not a white man. He's not a white man. That's nowhere in the Bible. He's not white. That's what I was saying earlier about these Christians. They don't want to accept the truth in the Bible. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. We don't want to give him a, the time of the day. And with gladness of heart. We want to call on other gods and other deities. And call on our ancestors. Now he's our ancestor. That's who we should be calling on. For the abundance of all things. Jesus Christ is our ancestor. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. And this is what we're doing. We're serving our enemies. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger. We hungry we've got to serve this dude. I want some food now. And in thirst. I'm thirsty now. And in nakedness. I want some clothes now. But I can't get it. Because my funds ain't right. And in want of all things. So whatever I want. I got to go to this white man bullshit school. And I don't mean to curse. But it's BS. I got to go through his BS. Because. It's just a lot going on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That's what he did. Until we have destroyed thee. <clears throat> he destroyed us. We destroyed. You see these rap songs out here? We destroyed. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So the nation that got the eagle sign. Whose tongue. We didn't understand their language. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. This is what they did. Right? And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. That's what they did. They take everything. And the fruit of thy land, till thou be destroyed. Which also shall not leave thee, either corn, or food, wine, or drink, oil, or the increase of thy kind, or flocks of thy sheep, until we have destroyed thee. Right, <clears throat> and he shall besiege thee in the in thy gates, so we are surrounded spiritually and physically until thy high and fenced walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all the land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. The whole world was made for us, man, to rule. We are the best at everything. The strongest people cannot be. The strongest people cannot be, um, the strongest rules, man. We are the strongest. We should be ruling, period, right? I'm, I'm going to go down. 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil towards his brother. That's black on black crime. And towards the wife of his bosom. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. That you got a lot of dead be dead. These are the curses. So that he would not give to any of them of the flesh of his children. Whom he shall eat. Not literally. You know what I'm saying? He, when they say eat, he's destroying them spiritually. They don't have a father in the house. Because he have nothing left him in the siege. So we in the siege. And in straightness. Wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. Can't get a job. You go on here, you go to school, you get a degree, you come out, still can't get a job, you go back. You know, it's, it's BS, right? And that black woman, let's get on her. Because y'all love the black woman no matter what she do. No matter how many, you know, to, to be real with you, no matter how many rods she had in her mouth. You know, you got women out here in their 20s sleep, slept with over 30 men, bruh. That is ridiculous, bro. I understand we in hell, but, you know, come on, man. You know, 
the tender and delicate woman among you which were not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground but delicateness and tenderness her eyes shall be evil towards her husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter and towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet and I've lived this bruh can't tell me I'm just I'm not gonna get personal but I you know and towards her children which she shall bear for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege secretly she want all things so she uses them kids for benefits that master gives us well the the the, the white devil and straighten it. Wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. You know how much hate mail I get. These these crackers. You know I got I got I got one video that got kind of like a couple hundred views. These crackers send all these. They are the devil. They are the devil. If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name the Lord thy God then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues and of a long continuance and sore sickness of a long continuance you know we can't even have a business in the hood if a nigga if, if, if a dude in the hood wanted to you know start start his own business and and be a dentist you know you know niggas a a, a, a rob him Oh, that nigga, that nigga think he pulling teeth. He pulling teeth. I'm about to rob him. That's how niggas is, man. You know? I'm going to jump down. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. This is talking about the, sl the transatlantic slave trade. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone. Right? And among these nations thou shalt find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. We gotta go to work. You know? But if you don't got a job. You, you feel like crap. You grouping in noonday like the scriptures say. You have no assurance of thy life. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. And failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Niggas, niggas is sorrow, bruh. This is not a game, bruh. Everything is real in here. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Let a cop pull you over. Let a cop pull you over now, bruh. Especially white cop. But me, I'm a, I'm a soldier. You feel me? I really don't give a damn. You feel me? It's your time to go. It's your time to go, man. You feel me? And thou shall fear day and night and shall have no assurance of thy life. Right. I'm gonna read the next two verses. I'm gonna end it there. In the morning, thou should say, "Will God, if it were evening, and at evening thou should say, "Will God, it were morning, for the fear of thy heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shalt see." Niggas are scared to walk down the street in some neighborhoods, man. You gotta. This society, man, is 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 backwards, man. Our people ain't right, man. Our people ain't right, man. The Lord said only 144,000, bro. That's, you know, the rest of our people, a lot of our people ain't going to make it, man. They not going to wake up, man. And I'm saying this message because, you know, I believe you got the potential to even just, I'm not saying you're going to be in that number. I, I believe you got the potential to see what I'm talking about, you know. Um... Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, let me see if I got a dollar bill. Right, wait a second. Okay, I got, I got my, um. Okay, the back of the dollar bill. You see that? They, they knew this is, this is spiritual Egypt. We in bondage. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. This is Rome. This is all this you know, we in Babylon. Spiritually, this is this is this is why this is the worst captivity. 
This is the worst captivity we've been in. Because this is the only captivity our people don't know who they are. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. We, we came over here in ships. By the way where I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. That's what happened. That's history. All Everything I read was history. And no man shall buy you. No man will save us. That's why the Lord said, I will not meet thee as a man. That is exactly why he said that in Isaiah 47. But I'm going to just do that video. And this is... This is not, this is to expose the lies that you don't know that you're teaching our people. But I have to come like this, man. And trust me, I'm a soldier, you know. But the Lord said, cry loud and spare not. I can't spare you, man. You know, I you know, I think you're a good brother, but I can't spare you, man. And I'm going to say peace. God bless, man. I hope you watched this video because I did it over. This is the second time I did it. The first one, it was all dark. And, and, and I don't even know why my camera be like that sometimes. But um, I'm going to say peace, blessing, man. You know, um, just, 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 just see what I'm saying. Anybody who's watching this, see what I'm saying. See, just investigate. It's nothing wrong to investigate, man. And I'm going to say peace and, and be safe out there, my black people, my Israelites.